Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> Today is Friday, November the 22nd, and it's 10.30 a.m. already. Oh, my goodness, I've been trying to, you know, clear out my email, but each one takes a little bit of time, so I'm having a hard time with that, but I had to stop and make this video. Our sister, Audrey, Aubrey, excuse me, Aubrey McFosky sent me this, and this is a warning for all uh, parents of young children, children who still play with toys. Okay, listen to this. And I'm going to try. I can't promise I'm going to do it, but if you... My custom thumbnail should be a little doll. If it's not, maybe I can find it on Google Image. Anyway, here we go. Good evening, Jeannie. I tried sending you an email about what happened today. This, was, this came in yesterday at 8.43 p.m. All right. She says, um, but I don't think my message went through. Something strange happened, but it did come through. So, uh, must have been through the night. Sometimes they do delay them for whatever reason, and they don't go straight through. But they end up coming in, like, during the night or something. Or they get thrown into spam. That's been happening too. But anyway, I did get it. So here we go. Uh, God revealed something to me. All right. Some, something strange happened today. And God revealed something to me. Last night, I was changing the sheets on my bed upstairs. And a little plastic doll rolled out of the bed. I picked it up and looked at it and just figured my daughters put it in there. So I put it in their room. Later on this morning, I found it on the floor in the hallway in my path. I picked it up, looked at it, put it back into my daughter's room, not thinking anything of it, just thinking it was odd. Later on, about an hour ago, my son came walking in the living room with that same exact doll in his hand and says to me, Mom, this toy is doing the sign of Baphomet. He has been coming she put in parentheses, he has been coming into a gifting from God that I have been witness to the last few months, close parentheses. Praise the Lord for that. I looked up the statue of Baphomet and compared to the doll, and apparently it is. I'm so angered. So, my question right here is, where did the doll come from? You know, witches and demons can do that. But if you're covered in the blood and you're asking for the Holy for Father to put a hedge of protection around your property made up of warrior angels, see, even an astral projecting human like a witch or a satanist could do that i know that i witnessed it firsthand when i was dating a satanist oh, okay i didn't know he was a satanist he told me he was a minister and that he'd gotten his degree online and he just hadn't didn't have a church at the time and you know i just bought into it i didn't even ask what denomination uh how what program did you learn? You know, I was just thrilled to find a nice fella that was a minister of the Lord. <laughs> I didn't know what kind of Lord. Anyway, that was a disaster. And when things turned sour, then... Um... Okay, things kept happening at our house. And one time... My daughter's car, see, my daughter's best friend was living with him. That was her ex-stepfather 
But she chose to live with him. Anyway, that's all a long story and doesn't matter. The thing of it is, my daughter was best friends with her. And he, um, he molested her. He was molesting them both. So I let the friend come live with me. So I pulled her out of his control. And that just made him very angry. So, okay, then that opened me up to being um stalked harassed my car kept being damaged some most of the time you couldn't tell it was vandalism sometimes you could one time see the dogs would bark i had a dog well her mother and we all ended up living together the friend's mom me the two girls and my, my older daughter but then she moved, she graduated and went on to college. So then it was just four of us. Well, my younger daughter's car got trashed. He had gotten in there. Dogs barking. We look out. We see nothing. I even hired a private detective one time for a week. Just to see if he could see anything. He was on till 5 a.m. Because he would do this stuff in the dark. Anyway, in my daughter's car... All the trash that, you know, she'd put in her little trash container was taken out like it had been gone through. She had some single cassettes. You know how you used to be able to buy a single on a cassette? And it was a song, I Am Missing You. Well, guess what? Two of them showed up in her car. Hers and another one. We called the police, and we said, this is the weirdest thing. My daughter's car has been vandalized, but nothing was stolen. It was just trashed. And a second copy of this song turned up. He actually dusted for prints. This was the first time we had anybody take us seriously enough to dust for prints. Found a big fat thumbprint on a couple places. Well, he was supposedly going to run them through um, the base, whatever they call it. And... When we called, nothing heard, nothing, we heard nothing, we heard nothing. I finally called a couple weeks later. I said, uh, I'm calling to find out the results of, I gave him my name, the address, the incident, the night of the incident, and so forth. They said, ma'am, we have no record of that at all. Well, he was a narc for the police department of the city he lived in. His brother, step, what do you call it, uh, through marriage, stepbrother, stepbrother, half-brother, half-brother, was a detective for that same police department, which is why we never got things prosecuted. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. The point is, I found out from this young lady's mom who was living with me her friend was a white witch she was a good witch she helped fight crimes so she knew all about astral projecting this is how I learned about so much about the occult she said people can astral project and leave things so this is probably what happened okay so I'm gonna move on with her story um all right, let's see. Yeah, and I had two beautiful blankets go missing from the home that I lived in that I brought that young lady into. And it was just the weirdest thing. I thought, why would my ex-husband go through the Christmas stuff and pull out those two blankets and take them I mean, that just makes no sense. Anyway, back to this. Uh, yeah, I don't know how they get it through the door, through the wall. They have to, they must have to. Anyway, 
we didn't hear doors opening or anything, so that part spooks me. But anyway, now I know how to protect my home, how to plead the blood and all that. Okay, so I looked up the statue of Baphomet, back to Aubrey's story, and compared the doll, and apparently it is, in other words, making the gesture of the Baphomet. I'm so angered. At first, I thought it was maybe a peace sign, but the arm is bent the same way as Baphomet, two fingers together, not separate, you know, like peace sign, as a peace sign gesture would be fingers apart. The Baphomet statue, they're together. Okay. Lower hand down in the same position as Baphomet as well. Also, its legs are in the same stance as another transgender demon that I learned about from a pastor's sermon that I watched yesterday and I can no longer find the video in my history. That's happened to me before. I've watched videos I wanted to share and they were no nowhere in my history where they should have been. Okay, with the influx of gender confused children, this raised a really big red flag the devil is sneaky. Oh, that's putting it mildly. He thinks he's slick. Yeah, he does. He is slick. But, you know, we know the one who is slicker and way smarter. God revealed to me that they are sneaking this stuff into children's toys so it's like they bring home little demonic idols and the spirits operate and influence and indoctrinate our children. Parents, check your baby's toys. Put on the full armor of God every day. Have your children learn the full armor and how to plead the blood of Jesus. Excellent ideas here. Teach them their God-given authority over these entities. Teach them the Lord's Prayer. Above all, teach them to have no fear. And for anybody that d doesn't yet realize, if you're new and you've never been in a church or whatever, the Lord's Prayer is our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name you can google it search for it whatever just type in the words our father who art in heaven scripture and it'll tell you where to go in the bible so you'll know the source so you can learn it and always include for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen when i was catholic we had to say the Lord's Prayer and then the one they made up for Mary. And that's what the rosary is made up of. It's 50 Hail Marys. Let's see, 10 Hail Marys. And then you'd say the Lord's Prayer. 10 Hail Marys, Lord's Prayer. 10 Hail Marys, the Lord's Prayer. 10 Hail Marys, the Lord's Prayer. And 10 more. And you end it with the Lord's Prayer, and then there's that little bit of beads that comes down, and it's a Lord's Prayer, three or five Hail Marys, and then there's you start with the Apostles' Creed, and you can Google that if you want to know what it is. Very sneaky. It's actually something we could all pray and be correct. Insane. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, teach them the Lord's Prayer. Above all, teach them to have no fear and that they rest in the shadow of the Almighty L or Almighty God. E-L means God. Okay. The enemy is trying to get a foothold any way he can and he is attacking these little ones. Nothing is innocent anymore. 
thank you, Jeannie, for your dedication. And then she just, um, that's personal. Okay, so I'll end it there. And I'm going to try to put the picture in the description box if I, I will try. If I can't, this is a really big, um, anyway, I wanted to tell you what happened yesterday real quick. I hope you're still with me. I tried to make a video asking for help for Morella. The couple of people who have been helping her, one of them at least I know, he's been given out of his savings, which is emptied out. He can't help her anymore. I am asking 100 people to come up with $10. $10. And PayPal it to me, and I will send her one big gift through Western Union. That is how we do it. I am begging you to consider eating a little less on Thanksgiving or buying a little less presents and giving $10 to help her pay rent and buy food. And one little girl, one of her little girl needs, um, she called it a long sleeve bodysuit. I'm sure you mothers know what that is. Okay, I don't know if she means a snowsuit, like for cold weather, or bodysuit. More like the t-shirt thing. I don't know. But anyway, she said her little girl needs some of those, or one of those. I don't know. So please, uh, oh, I made a video. Tried to upload it. They wouldn't let it upload. They gave me a community strike. I reworded the title, tried it again, they denied it, they blocked it. They do not want us helping her. So please consider helping her anyway, just to, just to tell the devil. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I'm just so sick and tired of this. It's Christian persecution. They want, they... The devil just probably wants to, you know, if we're still here, you know, maybe we, we won't be here in December. But if so, she needs rent and food. So as a church, you know, she's one of us. She's part of our church. So let's take care of her, okay, church? Please, I'm asking you. And if this doesn't go up on account of that, oh, see, I've already written a reply to refute their claims they said if I get one more they gave me a community guideline strike and if I get another one I won't be able to upload for a week bad girl bad girl breaking rules for trying to upload a video that I already uploaded is what they said that was my charge you cannot upload a video that you already uploaded <laughs> really I've done that before. I tried to upload an old video before, and all they did was say, you have to change it in some way. Cut some out, add some to it, and then you can do that. But they didn't give me a guideline strike for it. What is going on? So anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this and over the internet connection and over all the YouTube employees that are going to see this. I pray for you. I pray for the blood of Jesus Christ in Nazareth to come over you and over your hearts and your minds and for you to realize that God is bigger than, than Satan. You can only serve one or the other. Jesus said you cannot have two masters. For you will love the one and hate the other or serve the one and I forget how the other part ends. But the point is you can only serve one master properly. You can't be a... Anyway, the point is give your lives to the, to the Lord. Commit to Him. He's the one with the promises. Satan has nothing but hellfire for people who serve him. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, over all of your equipment. 
I pray that the camp of the enemy is confused and nothing interferes with this video going up. I plead the blood of Jesus over my subscribers, your devices, my computer, our internet connections, so we can stay connected until we're out of here. Time is short. We all have to realize time is short. We don't know when. We just know so much is happening. Just pick any news channel that's doing news. And you'll see. And a little blue dot just appeared in front of a bunch of my email. That was weird. Okay, I'm going to end it here. I'll talk to you later. Be blessed this day. In Jesus' name.